Home prices are up, the number of properties on the market is down, and buyers are moving fast to take advantage of deflated prices. So the housing market is finally bouncing back, right? Well, not exactly. See, a big number of those real estate buyers, they're not your everyday bargain hunters. They're Wall Street and international investors. These cash infusion is certainly giving the market a boost, but it's also risky for a key sector of the economy that is just getting back on its feet. Data shows that investment trusts, private equity firms, other institutional investors are buying thousands of single family homes, maybe next door to you. They fix them up, rent them out, and when prices rise, of course, they turn a buck by selling them. So if you're not one of these high dollar investors, should you be renting or buying? Joining me now from our New York affiliate, Fox 5 in New York, Anthony Lolly, real estate developer and the primary founder of Rapid Realty. Anthony, thanks for being here. First question, we find out now after hearing for so many months that the housing market is finally bouncing back, that the housing market is bouncing back thanks to investors like yourself. Is that true? That is correct. You have uh, real estate investment trusts. Uh, sophisticated private equity groups and venture capitalist groups sweeping up bucket loads of properties. Is that healthy for the economy? Is that how we're going to grow in this next phase of growth? Well, I think it's the initial stimulation. You know, it's the game of follow the leader. So if someone with that type of fortitude goes ahead and invests in property, uh, next thing you know, uh, uh, your mom and pop investor will jump right on in next to them. Anthony, I've seen you on other programs. I've read your blogs before, and, and you say that renting is actually your best bet as a uh, prospective uh, home dweller now as opposed to buying. Kind of expound on that. Why is that the case? Because the American dream has always been buy a home, do it as quickly as you can. Well, the American dream is still alive and well. However, renting gives you the agility to be able to save to buy your dream home. Right now, it's not really a market for buying and flipping. It's for buying and holding for the specific purpose of renting out. So if you're not an investor, or a savvy investor, it's not really, you stay away from buying. Well, does the volatility in the job market that we're still, still experiencing even right now, does that play into this when you talk about agility? Absolutely, I mean, even with recent talks of the sequester, uh, that really kind of clouds people's judgment and, and makes them pause a little bit. Now, Anthony, I know that uh, your, your company, you have, I believe, uh, I've read before, 60 plus uh, actual uh, companies now that actually work under your umbrella. How do I get involved in something like that? You said that buying and flipping isn't necessarily the, the way to do it. It's buying and renting. Is that something that every man should explore? Well, absolutely. I mean, I started my franchise company about three years ago. I've been in the real estate industry 16 years, but I really grew it from one location to 61 locations over the past 30 months, and mainly because our niche is apartment rentals. So the uh, apartment rental market has really exploded our industry. You said niche. Or my last question to you, who fills that niche right now? Who are the primary renters out there as opposed to, you know, people like myself who do desire to buy and stay put? Well, working professionals, college graduates, uh, people that don't know if they're going to stay in New York, if they're going to be in Nashville, if they're going to be in Chicago, and they really don't want to tie themselves down to a, a, a negative appreciation asset. Anthony Lolly, real estate investor and founder of Rapid Realty. Anthony, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me.